Welcome to the bookstore. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and welcome back to Zachtober. Today we are doing a come shop with me. We're going to go to Half Price Books. Then we're probably going to go to Barnes & Noble. And uh, we're going to see what we're going to find with it being spooky season. They usually have got more stuff out. Danielle is getting cold, so we're going to go inside. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you inside. Starting off at manga today? <laughs> you still need to read, right? <laughs> Isn't that the one I read? No, I read Fall. That's what I read. Oh, that was a video that was like a cancelled video you didn't do. You were going to do like plain thrillers. And then you read oh, Falling yeah. and you didn't get to the other ones. Yeah, I remember that. If I did get to the other ones, you mean I just didn't read any of them. <laughs> Pretty much. Anything in thrillers? Um, I mean, I found a few, but we already own them, so. So, no. <laughs> Ooh, that hunting party. I haven't seen the paperback like that. I love a yellow book. Alright, we're in the Goosebumps section. There's not a whole lot going on here. The best thing I found is this, and it's something I already own. His eyes don't light up, though. His eyes are supposed to light up. Mine don't light up either, so not worth it. Um, nothing else really exciting going on over here. Got the same kind of card as you guys just saw, and we are... Uh, gonna keep pushing through might check out science fiction might not don't know um, otherwise I think we're gonna keep on trucking through and uh, we'll see you guys in a second so we just found this I just read goes across the river <laughs> yeah see this is such like a disappointing book I don't know what's title but this looks really cool it's very like Christine so, you should. As you can see, we've got a loaded gun. Just shut up. And 
Anything else? It's a weird paper bag edition of the Exorcist. That is weird. Classic. There's a Darcy. You don't see Darcy here a lot. Paperback. I don't have this edition. I have that. It's cool. This is cool. I like the spine Go that way. We gotta get the shelves. Okay, we made it home. Uh, got some books, got some movies, got some games. I'm gonna show you all of it and I'm gonna do it pretty quick here. So first up, we got Little Eve by Catriona Ward. I talked about this in my November releases, or not November, October, October. releases. <laughs> and uh, I was excited for this one. I have not read anything by this author and I'm pretty sure we own the other two books that are on here, Yep. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get to this one. This one sounded intriguing. Um, this is also going to be on Danielle's channel. She also has got a haul coming up with uh, the Come Shop With Us tonight. And uh, this is going to be in it. And she talks about it more than I do here because I've got a little more stuff to talk about. So next up is The Suicide Motor Club by Christopher Buhlman. So I just read, I already forgot the name of the book again. Those Across the River. Those Across the River. It's a forgettable book for me. Sorry. Um... And it was kind of a cover buy because it's a car. Kind of reminds me of a Christine because it's a red car. It's a really cool cover. Um, I actually don't know anything about this book. If you have read this, let me know in the comments your thoughts. Um, if it's something you think I would enjoy or not. But I got it basically because it's a cover buy. And I read the author. So Next up. The most intimidating horror book ever. Well, there are competitors. House of Leaves by Mark Z. Daniel Whiskey. Daniel Whiskey. <laughs> First time I actually read the author's name. So, um, but yeah, I really don't know a whole lot about this book. Danielle had mentioned that is a very, very popular horror book. It's um, also, like, literally the most intimidating. Yeah. So, it looks really cool. We um, had to. You don't see that in half price books often. Yeah, no, not really. For so, $10, shit. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Language. Um, but yeah, um, figured we'd get this because like Daniel said, 10 bucks, why not? So House of Leaves, Mark Z, I'm not going to try and say the last name again. All right, we got two VHSs. We got Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho and Steven Spielberg, Gremlins. Gremlins is a classic along with Psycho, obviously. Um, I read Psycho. Gave it five stars. Gremlins, there's a novelization of the film, um, but otherwise it is a fantastic movie, and I absolutely loved it when I was a kid. We like to decorate with VHSs. Yeah, there's a couple of Stephen King ones there, too. I didn't get them. Maybe next time. Um, and then I have got three nostalgic things for me, and then a really awesome thing that we found. So my dad introduced me to the world of Oddworld, Abe's Exodus. This is the second game in the Oddworld franchise. Uh, the one before this is Oddworld, uh, Ape's Odyssey. Um, 
PlayStation 2, nostalgic as heck. I had to get this. I did just look at the discs though, and disc one is a little beat up, um, but it is what it is. It's a nostalgic game. I had to get it. There was no passing this up. So um, very cool franchise to play if you have not played it, but not a lot of people have PlayStation anymore. So uh, next up is a TV show that my dad introduced me to, and that is Dinosaurs, uh, volumes one and two and three and four. So this was one of the best TV shows I was introduced um, introduced to when I was a young kid. And it was a when very, I was a wee lad. When I was a wee man. <laughs> it, yeah, this was a very cool franchise. It actually, um, there's a move. There's like this YouTube channel I watch called Watch Mojo, and they had like the top ten like saddest ends to a TV series, and this was on it. It's like a really depressing ending to the series. So. If you have not seen this, I would highly recommend this. It is a very funny and, like, the characters look creepy, if I'm being honest. I mean, look at that. Yikes. Um, the last thing that I'm going to show is something that we are very excited to have. It is a limited edition 10 Evil Dead 2. Like, look at that. Like... It comes with the movie. It comes with a bunch of little cool... Oh, there's a dent in here. I didn't notice that. Um, but yeah, it comes with a lot of cool stuff. And they literally only made 50,000 copies of this thing. And I have one of them. Woo! I know that like is like a super high number. And I probably shouldn't feel special. But I feel special. Leave me alone. So, very cool item to find. It looks absolutely amazing. And... I, we just had to get it, so. Cool stuff. We will link what we can down below. I don't know what we can out of this, um, but we'll try. And uh, also down below, don't forget to check out the podcast, Danielle's channel, all the other stuff that's down there. Pango Books, Goodreads, you know what's down there. Um, yeah, let me know some stuff you've gotten lately that you're excited for. Let me know in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode of Zocktober. Later. Mm -hmm.